Are we going to do the next topic? So, drugs. They're drugs. a bit shit, aren't they? <laughs> Very bad. We found out, maybe it's because of lockdown and everyone's at home a lot more often, that you start seeing things in the neighbourhood that you maybe knew were there, but maybe didn't know how frequent it was there. And we realised that our neighbours, a few doors down, like a bit of smoky on the wacky backy. Mm. And I wouldn't mind that much. You know, people can do what they want in their homes, but it's all in the garden and it drifts over our way. And you, you can smell it in your house. You, you know, your windows could be shut, but you could still smell it in the house. And, Don't you ever be you know, like... <sighs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I really hate it. And I've got a kid as well. And it's like, I don't Dying. want everything, all that crap in. And it really bothers me. And it, it just, like I say, if they were just smoking it like now and again, it, fair enough. But it's it's quite a lot. And it's worse because I get people coming around quite frequently. Even during lockdown, people were still coming over. And on the driveway, just like dishing out bags of this stuff. And I'm just like, mate. It's daylight. What are you doing? There's no subtlety to it. And it really annoyed me the one day, and it, I took some photos. Oh, what's the investigator then? My wife, funny enough, my wife was reporting them, coincidentally, the same time I was taking these photos. I've called it drugs on my phone because, you know, you got to. Teamwork gonna, makes the dream work. I'm not going to show faces. This exposed those bastards. But this does not look like a bag of sandwiches. Oh no! And then definitely not. Looks like a bag of good times. This one looks like you. Who are your tats? I realise for our audible viewers, um, you're not going to know what we're talking about. So it's basically, just pictures of people who Bad have masked their faces, holding bags of what looks like marijuana. And to be fair, that's one of the kind of drugs. Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's, I think that's part of the problem is it's so easy to obtain <laughs> that everyone's doing it. Have you seen Friday, the film? Friday? Friday. No. Oh, just, it just, I don't know, it just brought back memories of that film because there was a lot of <laughs> lot of weed smoking and it. Cause Chris Tucker stars in it. Chris oh, Tucker and Ice Cube. Tucker. Yeah, Chris Tucker and Ice, Ice Cube. I can't remember how the saying goes, but I, always, I just from remembering this. His character is Smokey. He said something along the lines of, weed is from the earth. God put this here for me and for you. <laughs> Just like the way he says it with his high pitched voice. I don't know why that came to mind. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is one of the I can, like, I can the, picture that, yeah. Yeah. It's legalized in some countries or certain states yeah. and there are medical reasons. So I, I I get the whole argument and people are trying to make it legal and whatever. But I just hate the stuff. And it's probably no worse than alcohol, ultimately. But it's just maybe by definition, that's what it's classed as. It used to be a thing that I think part of it is association as well. So, like when I could smell it, you, it's funny, no? You, you, no one tells you what it is, but you know what it smells like. Have you ever, have you ever got stoned no. in your lifetime? You never. I've never, I've never smoked anything. Oh, fun fact: I've never smoked anything in my life. Interesting. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got family who've smoked smoked weed now and again, just like if, it, if, yeah. Yeah, if it's a one off occasion or even just in their younger days. But when I went to school. Well, okay, so partly my mum and dad and most of my family smoked cigarettes anyway. So I was always told never to smoke, blah, blah, blah. And when you see the damage it's doing to them and, and the smell and, and the, the, I used to walk into their houses and my eyes used to get so tired. So I was never into smoking anyway. I, I always hated it. They're sick in here and smoke. We, then come, yeah, it's just the worst. <laughs> then there's like school, right? So you, the other people who would go for their crafty fag Fag was a, not a slang term for gay. No, no, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, you never know. Certain countries have different slang words. So, uh, cigarettes. I so think British crap. and like Australian, New Zealand, some of the, some of the slang. Okay. Maybe it's just Americans that have a different Yeah, it's just Americans that don't fucking understand stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so a cigarette, right? It's different. So, you get different. the same kinds of people that go in the bushes in the back of the bike sheds or whatever. And, and they're always the, the scum of the earth kind of people. And they would be the ones also who would be smoking this this marijuana stuff you know like, i don't know where you're going to get it from anyways but you're somehow getting it and so it's almost that association like you'd be on a, a public bus and you'd be on the top deck of a double decker and you'd just smell it from like the guys at the back and you're like fuck mate just it's it so for me it's the association with like scum <laughs> <laughs> so not, funny. The, yeah. not, not the tarnish everyone with the same brush but in my experience the yeah. people who smoke that are the same kinds of people 
who yeah. I never wanted to be associated with. So <laughs> when the neighbors are smelling it and everything, I'm just like, I don't want to be living around this this neighborhood. It's so funny because it's kind of normal back home. Whenever I'll be on the piss somewhere, even like as a teenager, there's always someone that's getting stoned. Like it was just almost considered the norm. Mm. Now the one drug that I have an issue with, and I have a few close friends that have had some problems on us because it's just it fucking it fucks up your whole life, and that is meth, P. And even that is quite common back home too. A lot oh, of my really? friends, yeah. Shit. It's quite easy to get. I've even been in situations where I'll be on the pits and I'll be, you know, having a good time. And then I'll be wondering, like, where's my bro at? Like, I thought we were going to keep drinking. And then I find my way into the bathroom and I see him and his boys all fucking their arms and the needle. And they'll ask me if I want to have a go. I'm like, no, fuck off. And I just end up leaving. There's been so many scenarios where I could have. Because I've just been offered it, just I don't know why people do the shit, but I just I I've surprised. always hated mm. that. Like I don't care so much about marijuana; is the fucking meth. Yeah, it's shocking. And actually, I, I don't know if I should mention this. Actually, fuck it, they're not going to watch this. One of my cousins back home, her partner has, well, he's currently in prison, I think, and he's had huge problems with with p with meth. Now I don't know if I sent you the the article. Where she actually ended up being interviewed on multi television back home. Yeah, I remember. About that. her partner's addiction. I think back then, like, they were working through it. Like, he was working on getting clean. And then maybe, like, a year or two later, he's back on the shit, recently oh, locked up again, put a firearm on police. Just like, what the, yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, it's, I don't know why people do this shit. I've also never liked this guy, too. Few run ins. I can imagine. Uh, yeah, I wanted to just rip his head off. <laughs> I just didn't like him. It's, it's weird though, because I always tell, I would always say things in my family. This is what I see, and this is what's going to happen. And then they completely ignore it, and then it eventually happens. And like, no one fucking listens. Well, it's good that you got the power of foresight, really. For I mean, you can see some things coming a mile away, can't you? you this is the kind of, I don't know if it's the environment or the behavior. The surroundings, it's just something that's like always triggers the same things. It's like me, I like eating chocolate. I want to lose weight. So stop fucking eating then. Last time There's got nobody like who can be there with eating chocolates. <laughs> Mr. Nice though, it's like if you don't Dan. change your behavior, if I did the shopping, I, maybe I wouldn't buy those things. So I wouldn't therefore have that need to go to the cupboard if it's not there, right? It's so funny so, how you make that comparison. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's shit. I mean, it's, yeah, weed's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just, it's still something that I'd rather not be around. If you talk about, you know, people getting jacked up and stuff, there was the one thing that surprised me was talking to a friend who works for a design agency. I'm not going to name names, of course. Um, but her boss and some of the colleagues, bearing in mind they're probably in their 50s, 40s, 50s, and they'd go out like pubs and clubs or whatever just to, you know, for a, a company drink or whatever it is, you know. And they'd be on cocaine? What? Wait, I've got to... serious? That is so interesting that you brought this up because I don't know if I told you about my, my New Year's Eve recently. Other than you haven't drank since then. <clears throat> yeah, well, I ended up... It was kind of a weird one. Like, it wasn't the New Year's Eve that I expected. Anyway, I ended up drinking with one of, one of my mates. And that one girl that I told you about here, that is from there, from where you are. Do you remember oh, that one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I ended up meeting up with her. It ended up being after midnight at a house that she was house sitting. And <laughs> this was the last time I seen this girl too. Anyway, it was kind of weird because I, I don't know, maybe I'm I'm out of touch because I don't usually go out, but I wasn't expecting it just because we're all around the similar age. For some reason, these guys, everyone there, small group of us, they were all desperate for cocaine. And they eventually got some and then... I don't know if, yeah, they snorted the shit. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, are we, oh are we in like fucking high school doing this shit? Like, I just, I didn't expect it for that age. I'm just mm -hmm. wondering why they needed it because this was towards the end of the night. This isn't the start of, you know, building up to New Year's Eve. Like, we're, we're at towards the end, but you need this to continue on your night. I just didn't understand. And she even <laughs> took some too. She had some sort of reasoning behind it. I'm just like, this is like, I'm kind of, I'm not feeling the scene. I'm it. not feeling the scene. Yeah, I'm not feeling the scene anymore. The scene's completely changed. I thought we were just having a few drinks. 
and it completely put me off. Not entirely, but because I was still Mr. JQ the following day. You but still then, with her. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't go there. She ended up being upset throughout the night. I think she she said she lost some family to COVID. And I don't know how that, I can't remember what she said because I was kind of pissed at the time as well, but somehow that tied into her wanting to take that for the family. I don't fucking know. I don't understand. But now that I'm looking back on it, it was, yeah, it was, it was a bullshit scenario, but the the fact that everyone was so just casual about it. Mm. The thing is I probably, I probably put cocaine slightly below meth because I feel like meth is more, fucks with you more just based on what I've seen. But it's still okay. fucked. It's still fucked. But I just yeah, can't I just, believe how easily accessible all these things can be. I mean, well, there was a time where it was like, who do you, even if you wanted to, who would you go to? And then suddenly it's like on every... Yeah, it's quite easy, house. yeah. It's quite easy. Like when I first moved here, one of my mates I used to work with, he would always buy a weed by like the bag. Mm. Like I think it was like 400 a bag, a huge fucking bag. And he'll get it delivered to him at work on his lunch break. I was just looking at this guy. I was just looking at this guy. And he's just like, yeah, here's the way to the guy just holding the bag, puts it in this car. I'm just oh looking at this guy, you fucking mess. I've never seen a board in that quantity. Usually it's like, you know, I don't know if they call them tinnies where you are when they're in the tin foil. Mate, I don't even, I'm not even in that world. I have no idea what the lingo is. But yeah, that whole cocaine incident, oh, I was like, fuck this. But, you know, like we were saying in one of our earlier parts of this podcast, talking about, I think it was a whitening soap. People shouldn't really use it. It's it's a ridiculous product, but it's a big industry. You can't just cut off all drugs because I just whacked myself with the testicle. For fuck's sakes, mate, what is going on? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um. So, yeah, like to get rid of all drugs would be ideal for me, but... Obviously, you know, in terms of like illegal drugs, I mean, it would be ideal, but it's such a huge industry in some countries as well. Like, not to point the obvious, but you look at South America, it's a massive, multi, probably billion dollar industry. So there's always going to be people out there dealing stuff. It's just one of those things, facts of life. In fact, with social media and the internet and everything, I think it's made everything a lot more accessible, even if Mm. it's like black market shit. It's just, if you know where to look, you know where to look. Oh, man, I wish I was back in the 90s again. It was such a better time back then. What, for drugs? <laughs> or, or lack of, but just everything just seemed better. Like, there's not any any stress back then. Like, life was much happier back then. You were a child then. Of course it was better. That's probably <laughs> You're why. You're not going to see it as a child. No, I think no. you. Fi- I think you'll find it was just as bad. Absolute joy and bliss of being oblivious to it all. I look at my daughter and I just think, God, you don't even know. <laughs> not, not not just drugs, but like the shit in this world, the politics, the war. Oh, the it's all famine. shit, isn't it? This whole oh. world is a big shit show. When you think of all the shit going on and all the constant bickering, you go, what is it for? What are we all doing here? What is the point? If this is the best of humanity, <clears throat> we deserve to go extinct. That, that's a question in itself, though. What is the point of all of this? And there's the one thing that keeps coming back to mind. It's the one thing that everyone is searching for. Well, most people. What's that? Love. We could just end that right there, to be honest. <laughs> we can. Yeah, 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 we end it there. Maybe love is all we need. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the songs come to my, my mind. Love. Love will keep us together. <laughs> Do you know that song? Well, I had, um, is it the Beatles? All you need is love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching or listening to this episode. We hope you stick around for future content. And of course, if you're new to the channel, do check out our previous parts slash episodes as well. And we hope you enjoy those too. See you next time. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <about to> <laughs>